How's it going, guys? It's Judge of the Sith Lord, and I'm back again with another ga uh, game or PS2 classic. I was deciding on which games to like um play after Red Dead 2, and so I checked out the store. Um, and you know it's been like a couple years since I played Jack and Daxter and I've seen the collection on the store so I went ahead and got it and now that's the primary um, games that I'm going to be um, live streaming now so when I go back to the very first Jack and Daxter with the precursor legacy. If it'll let me get into it. Ah, that's the right because it's like the PS2 controller when I did San Andreas the touchpad the right side is the start yes yeah, create a save file I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Ego, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. <laughs> I miss playing this on the PS2. I remember having all the, f the first three, but not X. So I'll get the play to Continue again. your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Huh? <laughs> oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <clears throat> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? Jack, I think we're in trouble! Listen! What? 
<laughs> okay, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Tarnation, do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you going to keep yapping, or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. <laughs> Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. <laughs> Subtitles or no? I guess not. Maybe it's two and three that had the subtitles, but not the first. I don't know. You can't come back through the warp gate until you find all four power cells on this island. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-Grab Zoomer. But why is it just lying about? If the 
this so right. What is it? Important why I like this line of power. Sometimes you'll want to hit things with a greater force. To break one of these boxes, you should jump in the air and then dive down onto it hands first. Hey, you found one of my scout flies. I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the lurkers must have captured them all. <laughs>
Challenges that lie ahead. Ah, then no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-Grab Zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Eventually when I get there. Sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boys. See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> oh, oh, you're funny. Now look. If you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing, if by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orbs. 90? Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I wish to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. 
I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them. But I gather that your young friend, you know, the little, annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. It's 108. moment you were my muse. Your what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute. We are not going back to Misty Island. Are we? Oh, but.
make the switch already. If you power up with that zappy blue eco stuff. back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. <laughs> I didn't even see it when I was coming over. Huh?
back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, ta-ta, bye-bye. Fun as you may have. Gotta milk those yak cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. <laughs> oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those hungry yak cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man and try to get them back into the corral? Lazy farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. Oh, 
Oh, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Why does each villager have a power cell? Exactly. and there's lightning coming out of that vent over there. Are you thinking what I'm thinking?
Hello. here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff, so it ain't gonna help us!
monkey scattered all over the jungle must redirect the eco beam. Let's go fiddle with him. patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig. And now they're gobbling up me catch! No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power set if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters. And then I'll let you with shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. He's want to try the challenge. There are two types of good fish to catch. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. And if you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers and you'll poison the whole darn catch. Here comes a big one. Steady boy.
<laughs> Mr. Jumbo Larry. Mr. Jim. Now to it. Now get it this time. Let's see what to do. Here comes the big one.
scout flies in this area. We should go tell that windbag of a mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam. Wow! Check out that funky sculpture sitting on the rocks over there.
This must be a precursor oracle like the sage always goes on about. Who awakens the oracle? Wait, one of you has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. For your gift, another power cell is yours. to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you've earned a power cell. You just keep it in your head. So, uh, you uh, want to make a contribution? Good. A, a sizable one, I hope. You! <laughs> oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, 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 I, I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees, so try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot, so keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck!
think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the Blue Sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no! I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders! Oh! And it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're gonna need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some more. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers. Then come back and give us an update. And take the furball with you. like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We care. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the boulder bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton boulder, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue ego, and a mechanical genius, devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way? 
But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But uh, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh sure, and seal my doom. <sighs> All right, fine. Bring me ninety precursor orbs, and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. I can't get past. I can't get past. Oh, my God. 
get it, just...
it easy on those hard pipes! <laughs> on all those platforms or something. Ah! 
I can see the orb. So, off the guy who's looking for a squirrel. Anyways. Anyways. Trust me, it's a whole new experience when you're covered in fuzz! Jump, then dive onto the teeter-totter. Oh, 
at the funeral. Like, how am I gonna get Shane back now? <laughs> uh, what do we got? Well, um, since I'm gonna probably be making this a, a pod <laughs> series, um, I'm gonna try and do like around two hours of the time, so kind of like going to that time limit so what I can say is I will probably do some stuff off stream so that when I start again um, we can continue on with the machine moving the boulder like I'll try and get all the, I'll try and get all the cells in, that in my own time So, um, yeah. That being said, um, thanks for watching. If you like what I've seen or that so far, I give it a like. And I'll see you guys next time I stream. So, take care. Peace out.